Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and today we're going to rate every single special of all the launch characters of Melty Blood type Lumina. Each character, along with their EX skills, also have two specials. They're called Arc Drives and Last Arc. So we're going to go ahead and have fun, look at them, and rate them. I have not seen them yet, so this is all blind. And yes, this is 100% inspired by Maximilian Dude, who is a you know, a cornerstone of fighting game community, of the fighting game community. So, I want to have fun. I'm not sure if he's going to be playing this, but just so you guys know, I am going to be streaming this a lot. So, if you guys want to have fun and do some lobbies with me, come on by Twitch. There's a link down below. Let's go ahead and get started with, and I'm probably going to get these name wrongs. RQ. So, here we go. Alright, it's so their first one called Melty Blood. Okay. No. Oh, damn, son. That was tight. Okay, so she grabbed a bunch of chains and she gave you a little bit of moment like, hey, this is the this is the scene. This is the pose, and boom, blood everywhere. So, I know there's probably going to be some special interactions with characters because I'm not 100% with the lore or anything. I do know that it's a visual novel, a romance one that turned into a fighting game. And I have played with these characters because I have played Mugen. Mugen is a um, it was a fighting game engine, and Melted Blood characters are very popular for them to go on there. So I'm gonna give this one because it's a nice starting point. We don't know whether the other ones are gonna be good or bad. Good starting point, a good solid seven, a nice seven. All right, let's look for her ultimates. All right, here we go. More chains, I like more chains, all right. And they're going into some sort of weird dimension. Oh my God, a cube of death? She turned you into the cube and she exploded your ass, you're dead. That was pretty cool, I like that. I'm gonna give that one an eight out of 10. Next character is Seal, all right, here we go. Did she just pull out a gun? What the hell? Now, this is going to be very surprising. Like I said before, I don't know the lore of these characters. It looks like she took off her, like, nun habit, you know, wear. And she has, like, some sort of weird armor on now with a gun. I like that. That's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to give that an A. I wasn't expecting that. That's pretty cool. All right, next. Oh, damn. She got double daggers, swords. What is this crazy-ass anime stuff going on, dude? I don't even know what I'm looking at. But honestly, I think that looked way better than the cube one. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. Alright, next is Akihatono. Here we go. Alright, check it out. Oh, she got red hair. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Grab you, knock you in the hair. Man, it's a little boring. I'm going to give that a 6 out of 10. Alright, time for her ultimate. Ultimate. I pressed the wrong. Okay, pouty face. More redness. Big blast in the sky. Oh, that was unfortunately a little boring compared to the other ones. I'm going to give that like a 5 out of 10. And just so you guys know, the criteria isn't damage or anything or lore based. It's just how cool it looks. So yeah. Hisui and Kohaku. This is two characters in one? Okay, here we go. What was that? What the hell was that? That is so whack. She's like pushing forward. Four out of ten. Four out of ten. No. Next. What? Oh my god, I like this. Interesting. Holy moly, dude. What in the world? Oh man, you know, after I look at all these, it's gonna be fun learning all the lore. I'll probably go find, you know, a nice little YouTube video, you know, with everyone's backstories. That was a cool one. I like that a lot. That was very cinematic and it showed a lot of the like, character personality. So I'm gonna give that one an 8 out of 10. I think that one looked pretty cool. Next is Shiki Tono. And by the way, guys, just so you know, I'm, I'm doing these moves because everyone has the same moves quarter circle forward, uh, medium, and strong attack. Okay, here we go. He's got knives. Boom! Okay, it's a nice, it's a basic one. It's nothing special. I'm gonna get that a five out of ten. I do like Shiki though. When I did play a lot of Mugen, uh, Shiki was one of the characters I used quite often. But uh, yeah, that was a pretty basic move. All right, ultimate. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Ooh. Okay. Oh damn. Okay, it's not crazy special to look at, but it kind of reminds me of Akuma's demon, like demon rage attack. So, yeah, dude, that that is actually, like, I don't know. I'm a sucker for the slow motion, like, I'm going to kill you, dead. But it's not it's nothing crazy special. I'm going to have to, unfortunately, give this one just a basic seven. Nothing special. Oh, wait, we got the character Koma. 
All right, Como, see what you got. Whoa, cool. Whoa. Woo, I like that. I like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. I'll give that a nice 7 out of 10 as well. Uh, time for your ultimate. Jesus Christ. He's definitely a grappler, isn't he? Damn, dude. Maximum spider? Oh, was that it? Oh, no. That was kind of... Ugh. Let's watch it again. Maximum spider. Oh, that was disappointing. Oh, I'm going to give that a 4 out of 10, dude. Uh, I think this one looks like, hold on, how did I do it? That down forward, medium two. It's like, I think this one was cooler than the other one. Ugh. Yeah, okay, moving on. All right, this is Noel. Wow, cool weapon. All right, here we go. Ooh, okay, whoa, there you go. That's very cinematic, a lot of moves. That was good. All right, I'm gonna give that one a nice seven. Nice basic seven. All right, ultimate, here we go. Oh, spears. Okay, a bunch of spears. Whoa. All right. Nothing too crazy. Like, not like, like, it's very different from, like, her, her regular ultimate. Right? It's just a bunch of, like, random moves. But then this other one. Wow, I like this one. Very cinematic. I, I'm pretty sure these two have, like, a history or something. Look at them. They're both wearing the same outfit. I like this one. It feels, like, personal. I think it's better than the Shikitono Ultimate. This one's a 9 out of 10. That one's cool. This character's name is Vlov. Holy crap, dude. He looks like a vampire. Right, here we go. Oh, I messed it up. Here we go. That's different. That's actually different from what we see. It doesn't look like you have to hit the character for them to even do it. But it's, you know, it's basic ice. Whatever. 4 out of 10. Ultimate. Ooh, big ass weapon coming out of nowhere. Not bad, not bad. That's an 8 out of 10. That's pretty cool. That is pretty sick. I'm gonna look at it again. So it's kind of like ice powers? Archangel. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty cool. I stand by 8 out of 10. Alright, next character is Roa. Whoa, I like the circles. Oh, that is a nice. That's a nice attack right there. That's an 8 out of 10. That's pretty cool. Let me, see, let me watch it again. That is tight. Oh, so cool. All right, cool. Ultimate. I have high hopes for this one. Okay, grab your circles again. What the hell is this? The oh, demon form of road chief harm bullshit? Oh, no. That was it. Oh, I had high hopes, dude. Okay, I'm sure it has like some really cool, amazing meaning in the lore, but you don't see much visually. He grabs him, and then, I don't know, maybe he like unleashes his demons. It probably means a lot in the lore, but visually, I can't get behind that. That is, that's a, that's a freaking 4 out of 10, dude. Oh, his other attack looks so much cooler. I want to watch it again, the lightning one. Oh, yeah, that, this is way cooler. Oh, yeah, that's tight. All right, next is Miyako Arima. Holy crap, <laughs> little lolis. All right, here we go. Oh, nice and simple. Nothing too bad. I like it. Oh, right, it's whatever. It's nothing too, nothing too crazy. Uh, five out of ten. I have high hopes for old stuff. Let's go. Is that a panda? Oh, double team. That's cute. I like how at the end the panda's shooting backwards and she's going forward. Okay, you know what? It's, a, it's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna go... Um, I do like the perspective change with her attacking at the end. I'm gonna give that an 8 out of 10. Alright, Hisui. Here we go. Oh, it's the same as the other character. Hisui. Dude, what the hell is this? There's Hisui and then the other Hisui. Hisui with the other... Is it the same move? It is. What's the difference between this who's Hisui and the Hisui with the one with the other character in it? Okay, I'm not rating this one, but someone let me know the lore of why there are two different characters to pick from. And what's the difference? Kohaku. Didn't we look at this character already? Oh no, this is the character... Oh, we can look at this. 
It's so cool and different. That's like a 9 out of 10. I like that. Just because it's so different from anything we've seen here. So this character, Kohaku. So this is the character that was with her. The Hisuin Kohaku. I like this. This is cool. Why does she change into like some weird ass kimono outfit? That's tight. That is cool. Ultimate. Here we go. Uh, I'm look oh, Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. Calligraphy. What did she just draw? Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. This character is hilarious. I might pick this character. What the hell, dude? Cool. Okay, this is red Arcuid. So there's like, Arcuid is the first character. To look at this is the red version. I have no idea. Here we go. Oh my lord. That's tight. That is tight. Okay, that's a, that's a seven out of ten. That's a seven out of ten. It just looks like so much impact right there. Awesome. All right, ultimate. Man, she looks so devilish here. Oh my lord. Okay, we're in the city. What? Snoo Snoo? That's tight. That's a nine out of ten. That's a nine out of ten. That's very good. That's very awesome. All right, this is the last character. This is Saber. Oh, cool. I've seen this character. It wasn't she in Fate Night, or I don't know. Why, why is her sword invisible? Ah, the Holy Lance of Sword of whatever. Five out of ten. Boring. <laughs> Reminds me of that guy from Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Kyoto. All right, here we go. Or Captain Commander. Okay, we got a rush down. We got a nice rush down. Oh, that last beam all the way to end helped it a little bit. It's super basic. It's like a rushdown move. Not many cinematics, you know. But then that gigantic thing falling from the sky. I'm still gonna give it a six out of ten, though. <laughs> I'm still gonna give that a six out of ten. All right, guys, those are all the characters in Melty Bloody. In Melty Blood. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just having fun with it. It's not like a definitive rating. But uh, yeah, now that I've seen all of everyone's moves, I'm going to choose maybe two to three characters to learn and main and play online and play the stories with. So if you guys enjoyed, leave a like. It helps a lot if you haven't already subbed for daily videos. I'll try to put some Melty Bloody content on the channel, but I don't know what kind of form. We'll probably do um, everyone's story. We'll go through everyone's story. Uh, maybe like an episode for each one. And then we can do everyone's, um, like, oh, maybe we can just do online matches and see if there are any fun ones and go through there. But, yeah, if you want to come by Twitch, I'm going to be doing a ton of training online and you just any battles and stuff like that. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.